America also is importing less crude due to surging domestic production. But the oil boom is not without drawbacks. Critics blame advanced drilling techniques for everything from environmental degradation to railroad disasters. This week, state government and the railways themselves responded to the charges. One of the states that has benefited the most from hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, is joining a lawsuit against the federal government over a new federal rule involving the disclosure of chemicals used in the process. North Dakota officially joined Wyoming this week in a case against the Bureau of Land Management. Last month, the Obama administration announced it will require companies drilling on federal lands to disclose the chemicals used in the fracking process. Wyoming and North Dakota officials say the mandate is unlawful because it interferes with state laws regulating the industry. Producing more than one million barrels of oil per day last year, North Dakota trails only Texas in oil production. Moving all of that crude from the Bakken region has been done primarily by rail. And that too faces increased scrutiny over safety procedures. Late this week, the dominant carrier in the Bakken, BNSF, announced changes to crude oil trains in the wake of four high profile derailments in the US and Canada. The Texas based company now will require trains carrying crude oil to slow to 35 miles per hour in cities with more than 100,000 people. BNSF also will increase track inspections near waterways and look for defective wheels to replace before they can cause derailments. The number of rail accidents remains low compared to the total number of shipments. But fiery accidents involving crude are increasing as production in the U.S. and Canada is also rising. Railroads hauled 493,126 tank cars of crude in 2014, up almost 21 percent from a year before and up 5,000 percent from when the boom began in 2008. BNSF officials say they will now inspect the track two and a half times more often than regulations require, and the railroad has already doubled the frequency near waterways.